Now, that shooting is part of a spike in gun related violence plaguing the Bull City. But more, uh, more neighbors are asking the question what's being done to address the shootings? New at 6 o'clock, CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live at the Durham Police Department. And Nick, you spoke with people in the community to kind of get a sense of how they're feeling. Yeah, that's right, Angela. It's a mixture of frustration and a feeling that the right things are not being done to address the violence here in the Bull City. But I did speak to community members, as you just mentioned, and they weighed in on what they think should happen moving forward. Gentry Sneed is not only a barber, coach, longtime Durham resident, but father. His son, 13, the same age as the girl shot early Wednesday morning at her home on Weldon Terrace in Durham. Why does this keep happening, um, especially in our community, um, and what's being done about it? Questions that have seemingly not been answered for months. We have followed the story on how Durham leaders and community members are working to curb the violence. From shot spotter technology to track gunfire to more money going to the violence interrupter program. Gentry does not think the collective efforts culminate to a focused and urgent plan. Why don't we see them trying to stop the violence in our neighborhoods where our kids are getting shot, 13 year olds? And you know, you, know, you just get a, a, a K 9 shot, which is, is, you know, that's as bad as well. That's not good at all. That shouldn't happen either. But look at all the press around that. I think it's time for us to really have some serious conversations about crime. What is our true plan? Crime isn't new, but what are we going to do about it? Antonio Jones is the chairman of the Durham Committee for the Affairs of Black People. He thinks the answer can be through opportunities, like job placement. Idle time. So when we eliminate that idle time and give our kids or the perpetrators things to do, right, uh, then there will be less victims. There used to be substations set up in those areas of violence. I don't even see that no more. You know, that would kind of, you know, deter people from really, you know, doing things. And you guys, Antonio Jones, who you just heard from, the chairman with the Durham Committee for the Affairs of Black People, told me that the organization is working to address systematic issues within the city and the county. We're also told by a council member earlier this morning that he plans to address the issue of what to do when it comes to violence here in Durham at the next city council meeting on Monday. In Durham, Nick Sturdivant, CBS 17 News.